the film itself is trying to also disturb you with its constant changes and mood sw swings and shifts, much like the characters. Welcome to Blockbuster Review. If you don't know what that is, it is where I play a single game of Tetris Marathon and try and review a film before the blocks reach the top or until 150 lines. Spoilers are at line 50. And... Starts when the game begins. So Natural Born Killers was a movie that it's taken me quite a long time to see. And I think I was actually a little nervous to see it. Uh... I didn't really talk to anybody about it, but it just seemed like a movie that might be a little too much, because I was not a big uh, fan of horror movies, I didn't really like realistic, gruesome murder type stuff, but after watching it, I honestly am not sure what exactly I was afraid of. Not to say that it is not an intense movie about violence, I just don't think it was as bad as I uh, believed originally. So the story is about Mickey and Mallory Knox. Mickey played by Woody Harrelson, Mallory played by Juliet Lewis. And they are um, two mass murderers on a road trip after killing Mallory's parents. And they just seem to be traveling down Route 666 killing at will but always leaving someone alive to tell the tale so it's it's an interesting film um i know that it's a movie that is trying to say something like that is clear that when you're watching it you're like okay so there is a statement being made here and i think for me the statement is clear but i'm wondering what folks in 1994 were thinking um because i know folks like uh my father <laughs> older uh folks would see this movie and i could imagine a lot of them saying like it's just a lot of nonsense it's a lot of and to be true it, there's a lot going on um one of the things that really stuck out to me is it's really seeming to try and assault you with different things all the time it's it's not just showing you the movie at a at the same <laughs> at the same lighting and same angles. It's changing the angles. It's changing changing the lighting all the time. It's changing almost the perspective um, minute to minute in the same scene that are taking that's taking place in the same place. Where suddenly it's in black and white. So suddenly the certain colors are accentuated. Suddenly it seems like. Uh, really old film footage. Sometimes it's, it's it's like this, and it's happening all at the same time, or it just seems like a shitty green screen, and our characters are pretending to be driving in a car, and then suddenly they're in a real car, in a real location. It, it's, it's assaulting you. It's almost not letting you have a chance to understand what's going on. And I think that was the point, because these characters... are so violent and so angry and so I guess you could say disturbed that it's the film itself is trying to also disturb you with its constant changes and mood sw swings and shifts much like the characters but it's also doing this other thing because all of the other characters um, folks like Tommy Lee Jones playing the prison warning warden after they get caught or uh, Tom Sizemore playing a hero cop that specializes in um, psychos, as they put it. And um, Robert Downey Jr. doing a Australian accent, which just reminded me of Tropic Thunder all the time, who is this journalist who is using all the bloodlust and folks infatuated with serial killers for ratings. And what's insane is the movie is also showing them, and they are incredibly violent. Everybody in the film has these in, insane moments of just being incredibly violent. And it's it's almost like the movie itself is showing you, like, yeah, w these folks who are considered insane, who are considered horrible, terrible people, yes, they do violent, horrible things. These are the people that are judging them. And they are also doing violent and terrible things to each other, to themselves. And what does it say about the society that we just point at one 
person doing a horrible thing and say, you're a monster, point at another and say, you are successful. Um, it's also interesting, these characters, they eventually get caught and they go to prison. Um, Wayne Gale, who is... Uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s character sets up this interview. He gets swept up in the emotion of the conversation with Woody Harrelson. And when Woody Harrelson breaks out and goes to get Mallory, the love of his life, somehow um, Robert Downey Jr.'s character Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr.'s character gets wrapped up in it and starts shooting police. Starts acting as if he is one of these murderers he's in on it with them and then when they get out after this insane daring escape that's all caught on tv he is shocked when they go like well we're gonna kill you and then leave um because we have to do it for what you're what you represent it's a, it's more of a statement really and he's like well i thought we were friends i, I was just doing this because i was like going along with you and it's like he was just going with the flow because he knew what would get ratings and what made him feel good. It was, I don't know. I, I cannot say I didn't enjoy the film. I, I just have to say I felt like it was a little much. Um, and I'm just saying maybe it's just my own taste, but like after a little while I was sitting there like almost with a headache, just at the amount of changes and craziness. But that doesn't mean it's a bad movie. It just was like, I I, <laughs> I was not prepared for something that was like almost an adult swim show to me. But I enjoyed it quite a bit. Also, what I really enjoyed is how it uses the backstories of these two characters. Where it doesn't just say, hey, look, they've been through some terrible things. So that could explain their behavior. It was like, no, no, no. Let's show you... In, for uh, Mallory's example, they show you her home life as if it were a sitcom and Rodney Dangerfield is her dad and he's talking openly about abusing her in more ways than one. Um, openly talking about abusing her mother. Uh, it's, it's insane. And then the backstory of Mickey's character comes in drips and drabs, but there's also clearly abuse maybe of a sexual nature maybe of well definitely of a physical nature and at no point did i feel like oh that justifies their actions but it was more of a what else do you expect from people in a situation like this all they knew is violence but as we are seeing from the television advertisements in the in the movie from all of the uh moments of Mickey and Mallory Knox in the public eye were all exposed to that same level of violence and I didn't even finish the game great it's a great movie I think it's a little much I think it uh, it may have been a little too much for me when I didn't know what exactly it would be like but uh, I believe it's on HBO Max right now I think it's also on Tubi Natural Born Killers pretty good.